to uh, 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians, it is a blessing and a privilege to, to be behind the pulpit. Amen. Amen. Uh, if you don't believe there is a God, just, just watch me stand behind this pulpit. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> that is a miracle. Amen. I'm not saying I'm going to do a good job, but just the fact that I'm up here is, is, is proof that there is a God. Amen. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> it is kind of interesting to talk with some folks that, that have co- I've been coming to the church long enough that the, the newer people don't know uh, me from when I came, amen, and so they have a totally different picture of me, you know, they, oh, Brian, this wonderful Christian guy, and I'm like, man, <laughs> whoo, I just, oh, man, like I said, it's miracle after miracle, yeah, I, when I came to this church, oh, man, the, the things that come to mind, um, I had an earring. I was, uh, I was a druggie. Uh, I was drinking. Uh, my, oh man, it's not. It's not even worth it. I, I was a lost cause. I'm. I'm still not much better. Amen. But every once in a while, the Lord uses me, which is a blessing. Amen. And so uh, thankful to to be here behind the pulpit. Um, like I said, if you've got a, a Bible, First Corinthians chapter one. Um, I'd like to tell the sound room. The title of my message is "How Dumb Am I? How Dumb." Am I? Amen. Uh, So if you want to poke fun at me, tonight's probably your night. Amen. But but we're going to be here in 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 1. 1 Corinthians chapter 1. And uh, uh, we're going to start in verse uh, 22. For the Jews require a sign, and the Greeks seek after wisdom. Verse 23. But we preach Christ crucified unto the Jews a stumbling block, and unto the Greeks foolishness. But unto them which are called, both Jews and Greeks, Christ the power of God and the wisdom of God. Because the foolishness of God is wiser than men, and the weakness of God is stronger than men. And then we see my life verse, amen. Verse 26, for ye see your calling, brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called, but God hath chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. And God hath chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty, and base things of the world, and things which are despised hath God chosen, yea, and things which are not to bring to naught things that are, that no flesh should glory in his presence. But of him are ye in Christ Jesus, who who of God is made unto us wisdom and righteousness and sanctification and redemption, that according as it is written, he that glorieth, let him glory in the Lord. Let's pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, uh, (laughs) I... Oh, man, Lord, uh, to just think about you is to be in awe. Lord, uh, I can't imagine um, the distance between the earth and the moon, Lord, and you've created uh, countless universes just by speaking them into existence, Lord. You are, you are beyond my comprehension, Lord. You are far greater than I could ever imagine, and, and tonight, Lord, I want to just be pleasing to you. So I pray that you'd help me this night to, to preach your holy word, Lord, to do it with a right mind and a right heart, Lord. And I pray that you'd uh, open up the minds and hearts of those that hear, that they would be able to, uh, to glorify you, Lord. I thank you for your kindness and mercy throughout my life, Lord, and, and into eternity. And I just pray and ask that you'd uh, give me another dose, Lord. Uh, be merciful to me, a sinner. For I ask it in the name of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Well, as we read through that passage, amen, it's clear to see that uh, when, when the world looks at, at Christianity, it has a very different view. And that seems to be plainer and plainer as time goes by. I was, um, every once in a while, I, I, I'm still learning how to use YouTube, amen, if that's a possibility, amen. Uh, I, I watch one or two videos on it, usually uh, Christian hymns or something like that. But uh, I, I saw some old interviews with Billy Graham, amen, and I was interested um, to, to hear his reaction to certain things, amen. And it was interesting to me that, that even some of these, uh, these uh, uh, probably not the right words, but these pagans and these atheists still had respect for him, amen. Uh, they still showed him kindness because of, of who he was, a preacher, amen. And, and I kind of think about how things go nowadays. And, and, you know, it just seems like there's more and more contempt for Christians and, and Bible and the church and Jesus. And so... Uh, the world looks at Christians and sees foolishness. 
They think that what you have is just religion and a crutch. Outwardly, at least outwardly, I'll say it this way because many of them believe, amen, many of them know they should be doing better, but outwardly they say you are weak and unintelligent. So I'm here tonight to tell you I am very, very dumb, amen. How dumb am I is the title of my message, and my first point is this. I'm dumb enough to believe that there is a God, amen. I am just dumb enough to believe that there is a God, amen, amen. I'm dumb enough to look up at the stars at night and think that didn't happen by accident. Amen? I, I I am just dumb enough to look at the human body and think, you know, the thought that that just came into being just totally by accident with absolutely nothing watching over the process, I'm just dumb enough to believe that there is a God. How about you? Amen? When, when the world looks at Christianity, they say, you're pretty foolish. I say, amen, I'll take that and more. I am dumb enough to believe that there is a God. You probably have the verses already in your head, but if you would go with me to Psalms chapter 14. This world looks at us and thinks we're foolish. I'm, I'm here to just accept that, amen. If you want to call me a fool, if you want to say I'm dumb, unintelligent, that I got no wisdom, that's fine, amen. Just know that I'm dumb enough to believe there is a God, amen. And in Psalms chapter 14, I'm not there yet, but it says, uh, um, The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. Of course, we know that, that many of these thoughts that they have are, 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 are strange and dumb, amen, uh, when they look at us and they, they say science backs up their points and we kind of chuckle to ourselves, amen. I, I love what was said the other day about... Um, I, uh, there's been a couple messages that have just touched me recently and that just made me laugh. One was Brother Gip just recently, amen, when he was talking about the eyeball and how everything came to be formed in the iris and, and the pupil and then the, the, the liquid that has to coat it, otherwise it dries out, and then there, everything down to the rods and every, t- and then it happened twice. <laughs> amen. And it, and it had to happen and they had to both be in the right place so that you could have depth perception. Oh, man, it's just unreal. There was that, and then there was Brother Pizzo a while back, probably a couple months now, and his description of the universe, I mean, from a scientist's point of view, I mean, you look at that stuff, and you just marvel. I mean, (laughs) you know, God actually gave the boast. He said, go ahead and count the stars, amen? And we came up with computers, amen? We came up with mathematicians, and we have these big formulas now and everything, and God said, okay, good, I'll let you see a little further. What do you think? Keep counting. (laughs) Amen. Keep counting. You better need a bigger computer. Amen. I think you're going to have to come up with some better technology because God is amazing and there truly is a God. But, you know, the world looks at us and calls us foolish, and I'm here to just accept that. Amen. I am a fool that believes there is a God. Amen. Uh, Psalm 53 verse 1 says pretty much the same thing. The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. Um, I'm here to say that Psalm 19, verses 1 through 3, if you want to go there, Psalm chapter 19, verses 1 through 3, I just have fun reading these verses, amen, they, they just, they kind of mock the, the lost people, amen, and, and, and there's such a purity, I know it's, it's dumb to say this, but there's such a purity and, and perfection to God's holy word, and there in Psalm chapter 19, in verse 1, he says, the heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament showeth his handiwork. Day unto day uttereth speech, and night unto night showeth knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. I mean, you have to be an idiot, really, <laughs> to look up at the stars and say, um, that's a pretty amazing accident, amen? And not only that, but an explosion made that order, amen? Yeah, that's good thinking right there, amen? You want to call me foolish, amen? I am a fool that believes there is a God. I know that every breath we take, much less every star, star in the sky, proves there is a God. And I'm just dumb enough to believe that the immeasurable intricacies of every ax, aspect of existence speak of the Creator. How dumb am I, amen? I'd like to say this next. I'm dumb enough to believe that God is capable. I'm dumb enough to believe that God is capable. Now, now, if you could get people in this world to mutter that there might be a God, amen, and usually they, they lean on more than one, 
Amen. But, but if you're to, to get them to mutter under their breath, amen, that there might be a God, then their next step is to undersell his abilities. To undersell his abilities. Amen. They believe there is a God, but for some reason he can't stop some things that happen. Isn't that an amazing thought? Because some of them can get to that point, amen? You, you, you come to the evidence, you look at it, okay, there's got to be a God. Yeah, I agree. Everybody's got a different fingerprint. How could that happen, amen? You know, you go through the, the list of things. Every snowflake is different. You know, had the whale get here. I, I mean, you know, it got onto land, and, and then it became a human, and it developed lungs. And you go through all that stuff, and you say, okay, okay, I got gotcha. you. Well, we'll just, we'll just say that there's a possibility of something divine out there, amen? And their next step is what? Yeah, but, but bad things happen, so he's not really that powerful. He's not interested in the things that are happening. You know, uh, there, there might be a, an entity out there that did some of these things, amen? But, but uh, you know, he doesn't really have control now. He doesn't have control now. Uh, my favorite is that, uh, that he made it and then just walked away. I don't know why that's really cool to me, but I'm like, all right, amen. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's, it's nice to have a, a laugh every once in a while in life, amen. So he made all of existence and then got a phone call and had to go or something. Uh, how does that work? I'd like to know, amen. I got some questions for you. It's just interesting. But their next step might be that there is a God, but he can't do this or that. This world looks at prayer as if, the one doing it should be medicated to help him with his problem. Amen. Oh, look. There's Brian. Amen. He just bowed his head and closed his eyes in a room with nobody else, and now he's talking to himself. <laughs> Brian needs some help. You know what Brian is? He's pretty dumb. Amen. And it gets even worse, amen, because I come out of the room with nobody else after I've talked to myself, and I got a big dopey smile on my face, amen. That boy needs some help, amen. They've got a list of people with all kinds of letters behind their name that are going to help me out, amen, because they don't think God is capable of hearing my prayers. They don't think God is interested in your day-to-day -day activities. I'm just dumb enough to think he is. I'm just dumb enough to think he's capable of solving my problems. How about you? I have this crazy idea that the one who created the innumerable stars in the sky and the sky itself might be able to help me. I'm just dumb enough to believe that. Amen? Now, I think the Lord wanted me to spend a little more time on this subject. So, so what is God capable of. And I want this to be a little more specific, but I want to start with a couple, amen? Uh, could somebody steal the election from God? Ah, <laughs> oh, they got a hold of those voting machines. Oh, man, I wish I would have seen that coming, amen? Corona, oh, man. That messed up my whole plan, amen? If only there was something I could have done about that. Oh, now what am I going to do? Now, now they got to wear masks. Ah, oh, now we can't preach. We can't do any of this stuff. Uh, you know what, guys? Let's just call it a night, amen? We, we, we didn't see this one coming, amen? Uh, what are we going to do, amen? But I want to be more specific. Can God help you? with what you're going through right now. Now, I should have said this, but before you answer, I want you to think about how you react to the things that come in your life. I've been experiencing this lately, amen? You know, the problem comes up, and I don't think, God can handle this. That's not my first thought, amen? Can I just tell you? That's not my first thought. I don't think... <laughs> For God, that's nothing, amen? You know, what's the big deal? You know, Greg Root's got a health problem. Hey, God can take care of that. No, I'm terrified. Oh, what, what's Amber going to do? What about little Joanna? I'm thinking, oh, I'm just 
I'm almost in tears about little Joanna. What's this little girl? That's her daddy. And I'm just, I'm tore up about it. And I'm, you know, that's probably a good thing. Amen. You should, you should minister to the people like, like you, you're in their stead. Amen. But it's like I bypassed the part where God's got it under control. How about your problems right now? Because there's a part of you, and I'm here to tell you, if you're anything like me, there's a part of you that says, I don't know what to do. This isn't going to get solved. No. It's good to remember God is capable. God is very, very capable. I'm just dumb enough that God can write and keep a book. <laughs> Point number three tonight, I am just dumb enough to think that God can write and keep a book. Amen? Now, now, now one of the things that I'm kind of looking into, uh, studying is probably a, a bad way of saying it, amen, but just looking into is, is um, debate more or less from a Christian standpoint, amen? And so, so I look at some of the things that people say to Christians, and I, I look at the responses that other people have given, and I think, oh, well, that's a good one, amen? Yeah, what does the Bible say about this? And, and I'm trying to, to look at some of these things. But, but part of what happens as I go down this path is that um, um, one of the paths that they do on the Bible is kind of fun for me. And what I mean by that is when this world goes away or goes against God, there are certain stances that they have to take that really have no defense. They just really have no defense. I'll give you one, amen? Like when they say that abortion is great and it's this undeniable right, but you can't touch an endangered bird's egg. And my next question, now, now forgive me for this one because I am very dumb, amen? But what's inside the egg? I'm thinking it's, it's just a mass of cells. I'm thinking it's just a clump of nothing, amen, and it hasn't taken its first breath or anything like that, so it's just a mass of cells. It's definitely not a bird. Because then what would you say to the pregnant human woman? What would you say to her? Well, that's not, a, well, it's, um, you see, it's, a, mm, they have stances that cannot be defended, and one of them is that book. I, I don't know how many Christians I've talked to that don't think God can write a book and keep it, but he did create the world. Now, wait, say that again. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, you, you got you to gotta hear that a second time just to make sure it's real. Okay, so God created the stars in the heaven. Yes. He can save your soul for all eternity. Yes. Created heaven and earth. Absolutely. Did he write a book? Well, I don't know about that one. I'm just dumb enough to believe that God can write a book and then even crazier, I think he can keep it. Amen. I think that, where is it, in Jeremiah, where the king puts a penknife into the, to the scroll and then he rips it up and throws it into the fire? Amen. I'm just thinking God didn't go. <laughs> that was the original. Didn't he know that was the original? Oh, guys, what are we going to do now? Amen. You know, this whole preservation thing just took an evil turn. You know, it just got burned up. Amen. And then even worse, like the end of the book, now he tells the prophet to tie a rock to it and throw it in the river. Did you not understand that was the original? What are you going to do now? That No preservation is, it's just no longer a possibility. Amen? These same people will tell you, oh, you just need, the originals are perfect. I say, oh, great, so that's how you live your life. Is according to, absolutely. I said, can you show me one? Well, you see the original. No, no, I, I'm, it's a real simple question. Can you just show me where I can get a copy? 
No. Well, how about, there's there a place on the internet. The internet can do everything, right? Just Google it, right? Google, that's the big thing right now, amen? If Amazon can't deliver it, Google can tell you all about it, amen? Those are the two things that just exist in life, amen? So, so, so those are originals. Um, could you just, just let me know where I could just see them, amen? Nope, nope, can't do that. Well, okay, let me go a little further. Let me ask you a second question. Let's say I have a copy of the originals right here that does not exist. Amen. Let's just say that I do. Okay. Yeah, shake your head with me. Amen. <laughs> Would they be in a language that you could understand? No. Are you an expert, let's say, in ancient Aramaic? No. <laughs> How about modern Hebrew? Modern Greek, it doesn't even have the same number of letters in the alphabet now, but. The originals, amen, that's what you need to be. Yeah, you, you go right ahead, amen, with the, the, the thing that doesn't exist in the language you don't understand. Amen, go for it, amen. But the funny thing is, they're going to tell you that God cannot write a book and then keep it. It's just absolutely impossible. You know what they would call you if you believe that? You would be foolish. How dumb am I? Amen? I want to look at it this way. Amen? Uh, you ever misplaced your keys? I know. This is a bad example tonight. Amen? <laughs> Amen. So glad you found it. We prayed for you. Amen, sister. Prayer works. For you guys that don't believe in God, just ignore that. <laughs> Prayer doesn't work. You're smart. We're, we're dumb. Amen. But, but have you ever lost your keys or something? Amen. Um, this world says that you and God have that in common. Amen. That God had them write down this holy writing. Amen. Like the Ten Commandments or something like that. And then it somehow got misplaced. And even worse, God didn't know how to duplicate it. Amen. You know what happened is he, he's sitting there, amen, and he's, where'd it go, guys? I don't know where it went. Where did the Bible go? Oh, man, we lost it. So then he turns to the angels. Well, hold on. We're in Los Angeles, not the baseball team. This is the other angels. The, the. So anyways, he turns to the other angels, and he goes, guys, what are we going to do here, Amen. No girls, just guys, amen. Guys, what are we going to do here, amen? We lost the book, amen? You know what? Let's go check around Jerusalem, amen? Michael, you get Jerusalem. I'm pretty sure it might be there, but uh, you know what? Gabriel, you check Shiloh. We used to do a lot of stuff over there, amen? There's some interesting places that you might want to visit. You know, it's kind of, you know, scenic and everything. But I don't know where I left it, so we're just going to go have to go and find it, amen? A Christian that believes God created heaven and earth, believes in salvation, believes that Jesus Christ bled and died for them on the cross, does not believe that God can write a book. <laughs> you know what I am? I'm stupid. Amen. I'm stupid. Amen. <laughs> I am a couple sandwiches short of a picnic. Amen. My elevator doesn't go to the top floor. Amen. I'm sharp as a marble. I got all kinds of problems because I'm just dumb enough to believe that God can, can write a book and then keep it. Amen. I was told that, that there are certain things like uh, how many uh, originals there are uh, of certain things like uh, Shakespeare and things like that, that they don't have the originals of those anymore. So you just, that's it, amen? You can't trust anything anymore unless you have the originals, amen? God is able. I'm just dumb enough to think he can do it, amen? amen. There are many other things that I could say I'm dumb about, amen? But I think you got the message. And because the Lord really laid it on my heart, I want to remind you of that second point is this. God is capable. Amen. God is capable of making a difference in your life. God is capable of allowing you to, read, 
to lead a holy and righteous life. God is able to make you a witness unto people that you thought you would never meet. Amen. God is able to, to protect your family, to, to work on your finances, and to do everything else there is. God is more than able. And no matter what this world says to you, I just want to remember, remind you, if the world looks at, over at you and goes, nah, I don't think he's a... Amen. Let them think whatever they want. How dumb am I? How dumb am I? Amen. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you, Lord, for, for allowing the foolish to preach. Uh, Lord, and I just thank you for, for your almighty wisdom, Lord, that, that uh, no matter who we are, Lord, you're able. You're able to use us, Lord, and you want to. So I pray that we would... Um, just open ourselves up to you and obey and everything that you say and, and ask of us. And uh, Lord, help us to, to, to not worry about what this world thinks about us, but what you think about us, Lord. Help us to serve you with our, all our strength, Lord, with all our mind and all our skills that you gave us. And I pray now that you bless as only you can, for I ask it in the name of my holy and precious Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.